Hello and welcome back to Batman the Telltale series with me, Mount C. I should go talk to some of the other inmates first. Cookie crumbs. Hello. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Well, I can just, tell. I can tell. Just shove off. All right. No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. All right. Yes, why do you need to go all the way around <laughs> that? It's kind of a long way. <laughs> Bruce Wayne, you've got quite a reputation around here. Hi, can I play the next game? Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. <laughs> Guy I walked in here with, what can you tell me about it? John Doe? Yeah. A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah. Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, fair point, I guess. I'm speaking as a, as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. <laughs> so anyway... I don't think I should give him the key. I should hold on to it. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. What? Hello. I believe we met before, have we? Oh. Hey there, Hello, buddy yeah. boy. You missed me? I missed you. <laughs> yeah, well. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? Mm. Let's see. No, 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 no. Ah, now this is a good show. That's the move. thought that would lead to a secret passageway. And you see my mansion, it has lots of secret, uh, I mean, uh, 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 it doesn't have any secret passageways. I don't know anything about secret passageways. Why would I? My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local SkyTrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one, has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Look, I thought we were friends. <laughs> Eh, <laughs> Two-Faced, seeing what they did there. Oops, spoilers. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. It's a whole army of Batmen. 
Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, it's Vicky Vale! This is good television! Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. Does sound pretty intense when you describe it like that. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. <laughs> oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's what? still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicky Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. In other news, Lady Arkham has been appearing more often. We are very sure these two events are, are no way connected. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? You worked it out? You know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? I didn't mean to do that. Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I'll find a way to take her down, but I'm doing it my way, quietly. Could be interesting. Little Bruce lurking in the shadows. Though I think we both know you could do more. You also know I'm. I've been much. watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. Just keep it down, all right? When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Hmm, so like, alcohol or lots of drugs? Hmm, not a very original drug then, is it? Don't be ashamed, it's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents! Why would what? my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? Ooh. You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I guess so. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! It's gonna be a big, big crash! A big boom, and yeah, yeah, we get it. You see, I know what you really are. Oh boy. Keep it down. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? Um, You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. To who? Well, sure, but there's no phone. I uh, can... Assume I can take care of that. Not saying I can. Just, this is all very rare to go. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? No. Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. Sure, one favor that seems fair. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So now, Batman owes the Joker. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. All right, sounds good. Hey, Zaz! Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? The ventriloquist said your poopy face. Uh, oh, no, I mean Scarface said your poopy face. You know what? They both said your poopy face. Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before? Or you kill someone. What are you talking about? Oh. oh. Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. Skin feels like it's itching. Huh? Burning! Need to, need to get rid of it! No, that... That was very interesting, very clever. I never thought about that before. Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> yeah, get out of here. <laughs> the phone! Speaks nice and slowly for me, Alfred. Uh, I mean, uh, what do you need? Trying to contact you, but they wouldn't let me through. They told me you'd lost your mind. Contact my lawyers. You'll need to post bail, but that shouldn't be a problem. You have got to get me out of here. I'll see what I can do. I have to go. Much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find the stash of missing drugs. But ask the fails. Oh, oh, um, come on. I didn't do nothing. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just. Pretty grisly scene in there. I didn't do anything. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Mm. Yeah, it's just... Just another Tuesday here, really. If you're looking for who to blame, maybe start with the mirror. Because you're the one that left violent psychotics unattended. Mr. Wayne, I understand you have been through a trying day, but that does not give you the freedom to criticize me or this facility in that way. Because from my perspective, my patients were fine until you went into that rec room today. One moment. He's ready to go. Yeah. Seems you have a visitor. Offered! You're all right. You, relatively speaking, see everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. You may have the money to make this go away, but this is going to hurt you in the long run. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. And Alfred's the person to do it. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I think I'll get a second opinion. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you can afford the one you like. I don't like this one, don't like this one, don't like this one. Ah, this one's nice. I'll take it. Let's go, Alfred. I was just thinking that. Hello? <laughs> I will see you on the outside, Bruce. 
I can't Counting wait. Uh, What's that about? A friend. <laughs> All right, well, Bruce Wayne's up to, uh, I'll do for now, but I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye for now. The welcoming committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the real thing? Text. That's what I think it is. What a twist!